Now I want to talk about dealing with the love of money. Dealing with the love of money. First Timothy chapter 6 and in verse 10, that's some of the amplified version of First Timothy chapter number 6 and in verse 10. Tunazungumzia dealing with the love of money. Praise the name of the Lord. First Timothy 6 and in verse 10. The amplified version. The Bible says, for the love of money, that is the greedy desire for it and the willingness to gain it unethically is a root of all sorts of evil. And some, by longing for it, have wandered away from the faith and have pierced themselves through and through with many sorrows. Biblia leo inazungumzia kuhusu kitu ambacho kinaitwa the love of money. Hallelujah. Na jana tuligundua kwamba prosperity ya Mungu huja kwa njia tatu. Tukaona kwamba kuna prosperity ya roho yako, your spirit. Na hiyo ndiyo ambayo Mungu anafuata kwanza kabisa katika maisha yetu. Spiritual prosperity. Uhusiano wetu na Mungu kwanza ukaweza kuprosper. Hallelujah. Alafu prosperity zingine zinafuata pale. Everything else comes second comes after. Hallelujah. Kwa hivyo wakati tunaangalia Biblia tunaona kwamba wakati Mungu alikuwa anazungumza na watu, kitu cha kwanza ambacho alikuwa ana emphasize, watu ambao alikuwa anazungumzia kuhusu kuwabariki, kuwa, kuwa prosper. God used to emphasize kwanza kabisa uhusiano pamoja naye. God used to emphasize first and for all, foremost relationship with him. Hallelujah. Genesis chapter number 1 and in verse uh, 28, the Bible says that when God created Adam and Eve, the Bible says that akawabariki, akawambia, be fruitful. But first of all, before he blessed them, na akawanenea, prosperity. Verse 26, bile na sema kwamba, he created them first in his own image and likeness. Kwa hivyo kwanza, mungu aliwaumba kwa mfano waki, kuemphasize kile kilichukua chamana kwanza, ni wawe na usiano na yeye. Bade ya sasa kujenga na kuestablish usiano, Sasa verse 28, sasa anawabariki. So everywhere the Bible says about those about prosperity, Mungu anemphasize sana. Kwanza, usiano na ye. Praise the name of the Lord. When God was talking um, to Abraham, God speaks to Abraham na namuambia, ya kwamba, nita kubariki, nita kufanyia. I'll do great things in your life. Lakini anamuambia Abraham, kila mbato natamani, ni kwamba, you may walk, that you may walk in obedience before me. Hallelujah. Wakati ambapo Adam, I mean uh, Abraham, wali tengana na ndugu yake. When they were separated with, I mean uh, uh, Lot, the nephew. Hallelujah. God began to show him the many things that he will do for him. Na mungu akawa anazungumzia Abraham, anamambia kwamba, ningetamani ukaweza kutambia na mimi. When you read uh, in Genesis 13, 14, 15, when you read those chapters, you see God telling Abraham ya kwamba, nina mambo mengi ambayo ningependa kukufanyia, but kwanza ningependa uwelewe, ningependa utambia na mimi vizuri. I want you to walk with me. So God emphasizes relationship. Kwanza, mungu wana emphasize relationship. Jeremiah 29 verse 11, where we read, God is saying that, I know the plans I have for you. Alafa lakuda anawambia verse 12, anawambia, and you shall seek me and find me. Hallelujah. Anawambia kwamba, Nina mipango mizuri lakini, you must seek me and find me. Na mta nipata. If you seek me with all of your heart. So it is a desire of God for us to prosper. Lakini tuna kwa mba anemphasize kwanza usiano pamoja nae. Kwa sababu mungu anajua kwa mba usiano pamoja nae. Ndiyo msingi ambao utadumu. Hallelujah. Kama mambo mingine yatafuata tukiotu meweka msingi wetu na mungu vizuri. Basi hayo mambo yatakua ya baraka kwetu. And so today... Uh, when Paul is writing to Timothy, to Rudi Pale, Mali, to Kotuna Soma Siku Yaleo, Hallelujah, in the first Timothy chapter number six and in verse ten. Paul and Amambia Timothy, Kwamba Kuna Kitu Macho, Kinato, the love of money. Hallelujah. Nana Mambia Kwamba, this love of money, when we talk about the love of money, Paul is describing it as an agreed, and it's a ma, ambayo uingia katika mio ya watu. Tama ambayo, ufanya watu wanataka kuprosper kwa njia ambazo hazifai kwa njia ambazo hazipendezi mungu so the love of money ngepeto lelewa kwa mba pesa siyo shida utajiri siyo shida baraka siyo shida shida 
ni wakati mioyo yetu inajawa na, na, na tamaa na inajawa na greed ya hayo mambo kiasi cha kwamba tunaweza fanya chochote so Paul is telling Timothy ya kwamba kuna watu ambao wako na the love of money they can do anything anawaambia it is a greed desire for it and the willingness to gain it unethically anawaambia kwamba e love of money wakati kwa katika moyo wa mtu atafanya chochote ili aweze ku prosper and that is what we are dealing with today praise the name of the lord we are dealing with the love of money paul anamwambia kwamba this thing hii kitu sio sio mzuri mungu anatamani kutubariki ndio that is very very correct lakini anamwambia kuna kitu kinaitwa the love of money ambacho lazima tujichunge nacho and that is why i came to bring this word to us in the mighty name of jesus na paul anamwambia kwamba kuna watu ambao they can do anything when the love of money is in their hearts they can do anything hallelujah na hata siku ya leo tunajua kwamba leo watu wanafanya mambo mengi sana ili kutafuta prosperity praise the name of the lord they are doing many many things na paul anasema kwamba njia hii ya the love of money ambayo ufanya watu wanafanya chochote hata kama ni dhambi whatever they will do they don't care so long as wana prosper so long as wanaendelea vizuri paul anasema kwamba kuna hatari kuna hatari ya kufuata hiyo njia kuna hatari ya kufuata haleluya that example na hapa tunaona kwamba kuna watu kadhaa ambao hata katika biblia walifuata hiyo njia and things did not go well for them praise the name of the lord and before we look at that we are i'm talking about that even today people are doing so many things in pursuit of prosperity leo watu ndio paul anasema kwamba wanatafuta prosperity even in an ethical ways wanatafuta prosperity hata kwa njia ambayo haipendezi Mungu and that is why today watu wanafanya mambo mengi sana ambayo wapendezi Mungu utapata kwamba watu because they want to prosper they will forge everything that they can forge leo watu wana forge documents leo watu wana forge receipts whatever that they can do just to prosper praise the name of the lord katika hiyo harakati ya kutafuta prosperity leo kuna watu ambao watadanganya they will lie just to prosper praise the name of the lord today there are people that will steal wataiba wakiona hawatajiriki hawa ama wakiona hawa prosper they will steal and these are things that are happening today na paul anasema kuna hatari ya kufuata hiyo njia praise the name of the lord leo kuna watu ambao wataweka katika mifuko yao pesa ya mayatima pesa haleluya wajani just because they want to prosper and paul is calling that the love of money they will do anything hata kama mungu apendezwe na kile ambacho ni cha uh, kuzunisha Paul anasema kwamba hata kuna wakristo wanaishi hivi Praise the name of the Lord kwa sababu akiandikia Timothy anamwandikia yeye pia na kanisa kwa sababu Timothy alikuwa anamwambia yale mambo anakuambia ambia pia wale ambao mko nao kwa hivyo Paul anamwambia kwamba tujichunge na hiki kitu kinaitwa the love of money ndio Mungu anataka kutubariki lakini when we are filled with greed and an evil desire for it huwa inatupeleka katika njia ambayo haifai praise the name of the lord so today we have people doing many things hata leo kuna watu ambao wanaenda kwa wachawi wanaenda kwa wagaga kwa madhabao ya shetani just to look for prosperity praise the name of the lord na baadaye wanarudi kanisani wanaenda na maisha yao kawaida paul is saying that there is a danger of living in this way praise the name of the lord anasema kwamba kwa sababu ya watu ambao wamefuata hiyo njia paul anasema kwamba kuna hatari mbili kitu cha kwanza anasema kwamba kuishi katika hayo maisha ambayo watu wanatafuta prosperity kwa njia yoyote ile Paul anasema kwamba hatari ya kwanza ni kwamba mtu hawezi akasimama katika imani Haleluya Paul anasema kwamba haiwezekani kusimama katika imani ukiwa umejazwa na the love of money kama mtu anaishi katika hayo maisha ambayo anatafuta prosperity kwa njia yote ile. Paul anasema kwamba kama huyo mtu anataka kusimama kwa imani itakuwa vigumu, haiwezekani. Inasema ya kwamba is a root. Anasema kwamba for the love of money that is a great desire for it and the willingness to gain it unethically is a root of all sorts of evil. And some by longing for it they have wandered away from the faith. Paul anasema kwamba this love of money imefanya watu wengi wakashindwa na safari ya imani praise the name of the lord and paul is saying that many people have wandered from the faith 
because of the love of money. And the pastor hapo juu anatangulia anasema kwamba the love of money is a root of all evil. Hallelujah. Kama tumeokoka sisi ni watu wa Mungu na tunataka tuembea na Mungu, Paul anasema kwamba tujitanganishe na the love of money kwa sababu hauwezi ukasimama katika imani kama moyo wako unafuata Hallelujah utajiri ama prosperity kwa njia yoyote ile bila hata kuzingatia njia za Mungu Paul anasema kwamba tukiishi hivyo imani yetu haiwezi ikasimama Hallelujah and that is why wakati mmoja Yesu akapeana parabo akasema kwamba akapeana parabo kuhusu mbegu ambazo zilikuwa zinapandwa na akasema kwamba kuna zile zilianguka kwa barabara kuna zile ambazo zilianguka kwa miba and my my uh, concentration ni pale zile ambazo zilikuwa kwa miba zile okay zile ambazo zilikuwa kwa barabara anasema kwamba hao ni watu ambao uh, uh, wanasikia neno la Mungu wanapokea neno la imani but they don't take it they don't believe it they don't, they don't take it up kwa hivyo hilo neno linaibiwa kutoka kwao that word is stolen from them hallelujah Matthew 13 and in verse 8 Inasema kwamba when anyone hears the word of the kingdom and does not understand it then the wicked one comes and snatches it away and what was sown in his heart this what was sown in his heart this is who received seed by the wayside but he who received the seed on stony places this is he who hears the word and immediately receives it with joy for he has not yet he has no root in himself but endures only for a while For when tribulation or persecution arises because of the word immediately he stumbles verse 22 Now he who received seed among the those kuna mbegu zilianguka kwa miba I'm reading Matthew 13 and in verse 22 inasema kwamba he who received seed among the thorns is he who hears the word and the cares of this world and the deceitfulness of riches choke the word and he becomes unfruitful Yesu alikuwa anazungumzia kuhusu the love of money. Watu ambao wanataka kusimama katika imani, lakini the love of money chokes up their faith. Kwa hivyo hawawezi kusimama katika imani. Paul anasema kwamba that is a danger. Ya kwamba kama tunataka kusimama kwa imani, lazima tuangalie mioyo yetu isiwe overtaken by the love of money. The other thing that Paul says ni kwamba because of the love of money, watu wamejiletea many many sorrows people have brought many many sorrows katika maisha yao kwa sababu ya tamaa na kiu ya kutajirika na kuendelea kwa njia ambazo wazipendezi Mungu watu wamejiletea sorrows haleluya kwa sababu tunajua kwamba wakati ambapo watu wanaishi nje ya njia za Mungu tunalewa ya kwamba adui huipata nafasi That is why the Bible says that usimpenda shetani nafasi yoyote katika maisha yako. In Ephesians chapter number 4 verse 27 28 inasema kwamba don't give the enemy a foothold. Usimfungulie mlango. Na wanafunguliwa mlango kwa njia gani? Anafunguliwa mlango wakati ambao watu wanaishi in the love of money. When people leave the greed of money, they open a door. Hallelujah verse 27. Praise the name of the Lord. No give place to the devil. Inasema usipatie shetani nafasi. Look at verse 28 and inasema let him who stole steal no longer. Yule alikuwa naiba ndio aendelee a prosper asibe tena. But rather let him labor working with his hands what is good that he may have something to give him who has need. Papa Paul anasema kwamba usifungulie adui milango. Na unaweza kufungulia kwa njia gani? Verse 28 anasema kwa kuiba ili utajirike. There are people that do this anaendelea pasuti na kueleza mambo mengine but my point is this ya kwamba watu kwa njia ya i mean kwa hizi njia wanafungulia adui nafasi na wanajipata katika vifungo Galatians 5 and in verse 1 Galatians 5 and in verse 1 wakati Paul anaandikia the Galatians anawaambia Musimame stand fast therefore in the liberty by which Christ has made us free and do not be entangled again with a yoke of bondage do not be entangled again with a yoke of bondage praise the name of the lord kwa hivyo watu wanazajigiza katika vifungo na wajiletee shida na tabu kwa sababu ya kufuata njia ambazo Mungu hafurai 
praise the name of the Lord. And I bring this one because there are many people today that are suffering. Wakati na mifuko wanashindwa what what is wrong? What is happening? Pengine ni vizuri kuangalia maisha yako na uangalie is are there areas that you have fallen captive of the love for money. Ukakuwa na tamaa ya ku prosper na ukafanya mambo ambayo hayafai. Praise the name of the Lord. Wakati mtu amba wakati mtu anaajiriwa na anageuza ana documents zake ndio tu apate kazi. Hallelujah. Na ananyamaza baadaye anarudi kanisani anaendelea vizuri. Hilo jambo linakuwa kama futo ya shetani katika maisha yake. Praise the name of the Lord. Kuna watu wote ambao wamebadilisha IDs. Mtu amechange miaka. Pengine apate visa, pengine apate passport, whatever it is. But these are things that people do and after some few years, two, three years, mambo yanaanza kuharibika. Mtu anashindwa ni nini? Kwa nini Mungu ameniacha? It is the foundation of the love of money. Praise the name of the Lord. And in the Bible we see people that lived this way. Na Biblia tuambia kwamba maisha yao hayakwenda vizuri. One of the people that lived like this was this man called Jehazi. Jehazi alikuwa overtaken by the love of money in 2 Kings chapter number 5 verse 21. 2 Kings chapter number 5 and in verse 21. The Bible says that this time when you read from uh, verse 1 tunaona kwamba this man called Naaman alikuja kwa Elisha na alikuwa anataka uponyaji. So the Bible says that uh, when Naaman came and uh, Elisha akamwambia go and wash yourself and uh, akaenda akaoga na akapona bila sema kwamba akakuja na zawadi akampea Elisha mtumishi wa Mungu. Elisha akamwambia kwamba keep your gifts I don't want them. Rudi nazo. So Naaman akaondoka kaenda na bila soma kama Jehazi akamfuata akamkimbiza because Jehazi was filled with the love of man they greet for it haleluya akamkimbiza akamfuata akamwambia he pursued Naaman verse 21 when Naaman saw him running after him he got down from the chariot to meet him and he said is all well verse 22 and he said all is well my master has sent me sikia sasa uongo saying indeed just now two young men or the sons of the prophets yani alikaa akapika uongo there are people today they can sit and cook rice just to prosper hallelujah mtu anajipanga asubuhi akiana kazini anajua vile atadanganya anajua anapanga njama anajua these are i will say it just to prosper praise the name of the lord just now two young men or the sons of the prophets have come to me from the mountains of Ephraim please give them a talent of silver and two garments changes of garments hallelujah verse 23 naman said please take two talents and he asked him and he bound two talents of silver in two bags with two changes of garments kwa hivyo naman akampatia zile vitu na and they carried them on ahead of him na hadi akampatia two of his servants now look at verse 24 when he came to the citadel he took them from their hand and he stored them away in the house Then he let the men go and they departed. Verse 25. Now he went in and stood before his master. Elisha said to him, "Where did you go, Jehazi?" Mtu ameenda kazini. Hallelujah. Ameenda amefanya deal ambayo haifai. Supervisor anamuuliza, "Ulikuwa wapi?" Anamwambia, "Nilikuwa tu I was just around." Kumbe alikuwa huko kwa storehouse ama alikuwa huko kwa store. Hallelujah. Anaiba, anaficha vitu. "Where were you?" He said, "Your servant did not go anywhere." Verse 26. Then he said to him, "Did not my heart go with you when the man turned back from his shadow to meet you? Is it time to receive money and to receive clothing, olive groves and vineyards, sheep and oxen, male and female servants?" Verse 27. Therefore, the leprosy of Naaman shall cling to you and your descendants forever. And he went out from his presence leprous as white as snow. Jehazi alipokea laana kwa sababu ya the love of money, the greed of money. Na ningependa tujue kwamba Jehazi this is not the only thing that he did. Sasa Elisha anaanza kumhesabia zile vitu ambazo alikuwa amefanya. Hallelujah. Because of the love of money, Jehazi had could deal now. He did not deal with that greed. Look at verse 26. Let's go back. So anamuuliza, is it the time to receive money? To receive clothing, olive groves and vineyards. Jehazi alikuwa hadi amechukua vineyards and olive groves. Pengine ni watu ambao walikuwa wanapea Elisha lakini Elisha anaona hapana I don't want this and Jehazi anaenda anachukua and all this time Elisha was quiet praise the name of the Lord alikuwa zungumzi pengine anampea nafasi moyo wake ubadilike 
Achana na hizo njia. Sheep and oxen, male and female servants. Jehazi alikuwa amechukua di male and female servants. Sijui pengine aliwaficha wapi. But the Bible says that this time Elisha told him your love of money has brought a curse upon your life. So there are people that live like this. Wanajiletea laana wenyewe. Praise the name of the Lord. The other person that we see is this man called Balaam. Second Peter chapter 2 and in verse 15, Balaam. We see Balaam because of the love of money, greed. Moyo wake ulikuwa na tamaa. Alikuwa tayari kufanya chochote bora a prosper. Second Peter chapter 2 and in verse 15 Biblia inazungumzia kuhusu Balaam hallelujah the bible says that there are people that have forsaken the right way and they have gone astray following the way of Balaam the son of Beor who loved the wages of unrighteousness Biblia inasema kwamba kuna watu ambao waishi kama Balaam he was rebuked for his, his iniquity hata punda akamuongelesha achana na hizo njia moyo wake ulikuwa umejawa na tamaa Mungu anamwambia wachana na hii wachana na ah uh, hii njia ambayo inafuata lakini bado wanaenda tu wanafuata tu Praise the name of the Lord and the Lord is saying to us that we need to separate from the love of money the greed for money ili maisha yetu yakaweze kunawiri maisha yetu yakaweze kubarikiwa kwa hivyo tunaona kwamba Balaam when you read the story of Balaam in the book of numbers just go half time read utaona kwamba baadaye Balaam alikufa he died he did not deal with the greed for money hallelujah wakati Balaam alimuita kuja alani wana wa Israeli haya alikuwa anaona tu pesa Mungu anamwambia hapana this, I don't want you to do this lakini alikuwa anaona tu pesa so wakati ambapo alienda baadaye akatumia a strategy akaonyesha Balak vile ambavyo wata, wata entice the Israelites so that they can sin against God and the bible says that when that happened later wakati vita vilitokea Balak akaoliwa pale he, he died because of the love of money the greed for money and lastly the other man is called Demas Second Peter chapter 4 I mean Second Timothy 4 and in verse 10 we are talking about dealing with the love of money praise the name of the lord kwa sababu ya tamaa ya kutajirika na kunawiri na kuendelea watu wanafanya mambo ambayo hayafai na Mungu anasema that is not the way because at the end of the day kama jehazi kuna laana ambayo kuja katika maisha ya watu at the end of the day like Balaam it can even cost your life Demas Paul anazungumzia kuhusu Demas anasema kwamba Demas has forsaken me having loved this present world and has departed for the Salonica. Demas. Kumbuka ndio sema kwamba when the greed of money is in your heart you can't walk with God. You cannot stand in faith. Demas alikuwa mtumishi ambaye alikuwa anasaidia Paul just like Timothy and other people. Alikuwa anatumikia Paul. He was in the ministry of Paul, but Demas never dealt with the greed for money. Katika moyo wake alikuwa amejawa na tamaa. Tamaa hiyo ndio Mungu anasema kwamba lazima leo tushughulikie na Demas hiyo tamaa ikamuovertake hadi akatoka kwa huduma akatoka kanisani akaenda haleluya kufuata hizo tamaa and that is how Demas was disqualified from the ministry that he was serving with Paul praise the name of the Lord and today we are dealing with the love of money siku ya leo ni siku ya kufanya maombi kwa sababu ya mioyo yetu kumwambia Bwana achunguze mioyo yetu Praise the name of the Lord. I remember one time I was working in a certain company and uh, I was just new. There was this man that was there kuna siku ambayo nilikuwa naenda field. The work that I was doing. I was going to the field and uh, the company was taking care of my transport so I could I could hire a vehicle and go to the field if the car of the company was available nilikuwa natumia. So that day um gari ya kampuni ilikuwa available so the driver that was supposed to take me to the field tukio tumekaa kwa gari akanyambia acha nikoeshe vile tutafanya leo i was just knew we were just talking hako amenijua vizuri kwa hivyo akanyambia uh, hapa vile tunafanyaga ni kwamba hapa mtu ni kukusaidia so i'm trying to understand unamaanisha nini so tuko kwa gari we are just about to go to the field so akanyambia hapa vile utafanya andika receipt ya kwamba uli haya gari Okay. Mimi ndio kupeleka na gari ya kampuni mafuta ni ya kampuni. But write a receipt ya kuonyesha kwamba wacha tuandike tuonyesha kwamba uli haya gari, taxi whatever you hired. Na ndio ilikupeleka. Na hizo pesa zitatolewa. Na mimi ndio kusupport anasema ni kweli si kukupeleka. Praise the name of the Lord because he had his own way of escaping to uh, kuandika ya kwamba alikuwa ametoka na gari. Kwa hivyo akanyambia tufanye hivi tuandike. 
Hallelujah. Hiyo pesa tujisaidie nayo. So I looked at him and hako amerijua vizuri. I was just ni nikamwambia mimi ni wa kwanza nimeokoka. So nikaona ni kama haelewi. So bado anaendelea tu anaendelea na conversation. Nikamwambia all that means is that mimi kuna maisha ambayo nimetagua nitaishi na kuna vitu siwezi fanya. So I told him I cannot do that. Anaambia siku hizi acha kujifanya siku hizi maisha ni ngumu. Watu ni kujisaidia. Utalipa rent ukule na ufanye nini ufanye na hii pesa unapewa. Ni kidogo. Lazima ujisaidie maisha ni ngumu. <laughs> Nikamwambia my brother maisha ni ngumu lakini awadhali nikae hapa mali kuna mali kuna kugumu na nibarikiwe. Praise the name of the Lord. Long story short. That brother na nikamwambia unahitaji kuokoka. Acha na hizo njia. Leave those ways. Very very shortly I can tell you I think it was one month later alivutwa kazi. He was caught. Praise the name of the Lord. And he was calling me later. Kunyambia nimevutwa kazi. Sijui nitaanzia wapi. I have a family. I don't know what to do and I remembered the greed of money, the love for money. Ili ilifanya kapoteza kazi. Somebody that was being paid very well. Hallelujah. Alipoteza zote, alipoteza ile alikuwa anataka kuiba na ile mshahara alikuwa anapata. The love of money. Praise the name of the Lord. As I finish, I want to read the book of Hebrews chapter 6 and in verse 12. Biblia inasema kwamba tukaweze kujenga imani yetu na kumgojea Bwana. Tumwamini Bwana. Na tuamini kwamba anaweza kutubariki. We need to trust God that he is able to bless us. He is able. Wakati tunafuata njia zake, he is able to cause us to prosper. Hebrews 6 and in verse 12. Biblia inasema kwamba tufuate mifano And as I said, don't become sluggish but imitate those who through faith and patience inherit the promises. Biblia inasema kwamba tusifuate njia za watu kama Demas, njia za watu kama Jehazi, njia za watu kama Balaam, lakini tufuate njia za watu ambao walitembea katika imani, watu ambao walimpendeza Bwana na wakangojea hadi Mungu akawainua na Mungu akawabariki. Praise the name of the Lord. And that is all the word is saying to us the same book 10 verse 35 Hebrews 10 verse 35 as i finish in the mighty name of jesus the bible says that let us follow the example of those that have walked in faith and have walked in patience bibiria nasema kwamba do not cast away your confidence which has great reward usipoteze tumaini lako usipoteze your confidence ndani ya mungu eri umgoje pale i told this man and i told him let i'll be patient i rather wait for God to bless me in the right way than to follow the greed of money and end up casting myself do not throw away your confidence i'm speaking to somebody ambaye umekuwa unapoteza patience you have been losing your patience unaona njia za mungu kwamba zinakawia you see that the ways of god are taking longer i came to encourage you and to tell you that the way of god is the best way to follow the bible talks about abraham in romans chapter 4 verse 18 to verse 23 The Bible says wakati Abraham alipokea ahadi ya Mungu. The Bible says he did not waver through unbelief. Lakini alimngojea Bwana na akaamini akijua kwamba yule ambaye ameahidi ni mwaminifu. Praise the name of the Lord. Atafanya na atatimiza. Our God is a faithful God. Our God is a faithful God. We can trust God. We can depend on the Lord. We can rely on him. Hallelujah. Wakati tunaona njia za za watu wa dunia, usitamani hizo njia. Praise the, the name of the Lord. We just want to make a prayer in Jesus mighty name. Mwambie bwana ya kwamba bwana na kuamini katika maisha yangu. I trust you. I have confidence in you in the mighty name of Jesus. Najua kuna watu ambao pengine kazini watu wamekukejeli kwa sababu unakataa kufuata njia zao. Watu wameku uh, wameongea mambo mabaya because you are not following their ways to prosper and you have been patient waiting upon the Lord. May your faith not fail. In Jesus mighty name. Naomba watu ambao wamekuwa kimgojea Bwana, wamekuwa na ya kwa, kana kwamba imani yao haizai matuna yoyote. In Jesus mighty name. May God give you grace kama Abraham kuweza kusimama katika imani katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo, unaweza pitia mateso kwa sababu ya njia ambayo umechagua kufuata, njia ya kweli, njia ya Mungu. Lakini nimekuja kuambia ya kwamba that is the best way in Jesus mighty name. Naomba watu ambao imani yao ilikuwa inafifia, imani yao ilikuwa inafifia, ulikuwa unapoteza patience. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that you shall have the grace to wait upon the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus Christ katika jina la Yesu Kristo. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Mwambie Bwana, nitanganishe na the greed, the love of money. Bwana chunguza moyo wangu katika jina la Yesu. Chunguza moyo wangu katika jina la Yesu. Separate me from this greed in the name of Jesus. Kwaiza, kuna watu ambao walianza kuishi haya maisha, wameokoka leo lakini wakakuwa hooked up, wakakuwa addicted. They cannot live without stealing or lying i came to tell you can be set free it is something that is in your heart mungu anaweza kutoa anaweza kutanganisha waambie bwana takasa moyo wangu katika jina la yesu takasa moyo wangu katika jina la yesu kutokana na kila tamaa is your far in the mighty name of jesus oh my father sanctify our hearts in the name of jesus bwana takasa mioyo yetu kutokana na njia ambazo hazifai katika jina la yesu tunakataa uongo wa shetani tunakataa uongo wa shetani katika jina la yesu tunakataa njia zake katika jina la Yesu tunatangaza ya kwamba Bwana tunasimama katika imani in the mighty name of Jesus we shall stand in faith in Jesus mighty name in Jesus mighty name Yesu akazungumza akasema ya kwamba no one can serve two masters akasema kwamba either utachukia mmoja ama utapenda mwingine na Yesu akasema kwamba hivyo hivyo you cannot serve God and money hallelujah Yesu akasema kwamba the greed of money it a compete na Mungu katika moyo wako and this hour is a time to surrender. Kumwambia Bwana moyo wangu utawale. Tawala moyo wangu Bwana siku ya leo. Tawala moyo wangu siku ya leo Bwana katika jina la Yesu. Uniongoze katika njia zako in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus mighty name. Thank you for watching this program. We believe this prophetic message has transformed your life. If you would like to partner with us, please contact us on the numbers on your screen.